I'm 100% pro-life. Because I, not because I want to deny anyone their rights, but because I believe that innocent human life is worthy of the protection of our laws. That said, every bill I've ever sponsored on abortion, every bill I've ever voted for, has exceptions. Every one of them does, because that's what can pass, and that's what the majority of people support. Now, what was before us today in Congress that you talk about Lindsey Graham's bill, that's a four-month ban. Okay? That is more lenient than every country in Europe, except for two. The extremist on abortion in this campaign is Congresswoman Demings. She supports no restrictions, no limitations of any kind. Senator, how gullible do you really think Florida voters are? Number one, you have been clear that you s support no exceptions, even including rape and incest. Now, as a police detective who investigated cases of rape and incest, no, Senator, I don't think it's okay for a 10-year-old girl to be raped and have to carry the seed of her rapist. No, I don't think it's okay for you to make decisions for women and girls. As a senator, I think those decisions are made between the woman, her family, her doctor, and her faith. Hey, one of the first things I did when I got back to Washington is I sponsored a bipartisan red flag law styled after Florida, not the crazy one they just passed, a real red flag law that would allow the police department to go before a judge and remove your guns if they can prove that you are a danger. The one they passed allows some coworker that doesn't like you to go to some liberal judge and take away your Second Amendment rights. Senator, you used the, the Pulse nightclub shooting as your inspiration to run again for the Senate in 2016. Parkland, uh, Pulse is in my district. And yet, you've done nothing, nothing to help address gun violence and get dangerous weapons out of the hands of dangerous people. Florida, after Parkland, after you made promises that you had no intentions on keeping to the parents of Parkland, Florida passed legislation raising the age to have an assault weapon, passed red flag laws that we've seen 7,000 plus instances where they've been used now. To, our primary responsibility is the safety of Floridians. And Senator, 24 years in elected office and you have not yet risen to that occasion. But there's no country in the world that can tolerate or permit or afford 5,000 people a day arriving at your border, saying the magic words and getting asylum. And she says it's not a problem. She says there's nothing unusual about it. This cannot continue. We need to make sure that the men and women at the borders have the resources that they need. I am a fan of boots on the ground. Let's have more boots on the ground, but let's also hire more processors so that we can separate those who need to be arrested from those who are seeking asylum. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.